Calm down, Xander. You look a little silly. My stomach's all jittery. Are, are you okay? They're so gay, it's insane. <laughs> Stop being so dramatic. Take some deep breaths. Hey, David. You don't have to worry about letting me down because it's always like you for who you are. You've already done plenty for me, so don't push yourself further. We are the robots. Okay, let's just be friends. I... Thank you. I'd love that. Thank you. Listen up, everyone. Okay, everyone. I have an announcement to make. Is it about that motive tomorrow, you incompetent baboon? No! Okay, maybe a little bit. Rose, Min, Teruko, and I all did some baking yesterday, and we prepared a bunch of desserts. I hope it'll take everyone's mind off of the motive for at least a little bit. <laughs> Besides, it'd be a nice treat for everyone to enjoy. We made cookies. <laughs> cookies. Hell yeah, biscuits. I mean, cookies. Th these smell really good. Oh, these are actually kind of cute. <laughs> That's a surgeon. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> We also made a cake. I'm super proud of it. Don't let Terra go buy it. Ta -da. Never mind. This is the one that she dropped. What on earth is that? Okay, we might have made a few mistakes. Wow. A few mistakes? Are you really this terrible at cooking? Not even a starving raccoon would eat this shit, bitch. <laughs> the fuck? What is this? Well. It was fine, but then Terrico dropped it. Then I tried to glue the pieces together, but the icing didn't hold. And it fell apart again. I'm... I'm sure it'll still taste good. Maybe. So I think it'll... I think I'll pass on this pile of vomit. <laughs> Baka. This gross-looking gross cake. Hey. Don't say that. It's only cake. You know what cakes means, right? We should sing. I'm not singing. I'm not saying that. Can you stop, that? stop singing, man. It's annoying. It's not even anyone's birthday today. How do you know? You know. We don't know what day of the year it is. Technically, it could be anyone's birthday. Baka. It could be your birthday. Whoa. Bro, Sch Schrodinger, Schrodinger's birthday? That is not what. That is not what Schrodinger's paradox was about. Perhaps today could also be fa wait. Perhaps today could also be Fane's physicist Erwin Scrogender's birthday. Just this just a possibility though. Let's not get distracted. While I appreciate the unconventional direction in which this conversation is headed, I think it's best if we end it there. Let's enjoy the dessert that the girls made for us, okay? Veronica's Celestia voice. <laughs> Everyone, help yourself to a slice, or an appropriately an appropriately sized chunk. This is great. See, I see her name is Veronica Grebenskiova. Skiova. Wait, Grebenskiova, right? But she sounds like she sounds normal. So I feel like I should give her the accent, but she doesn't have the accent. So I, I don't. I don't know. It's delicious. The knowledge that it was handmade by your friends really changes the expressions of eating, don't you think? Hmm. I guess it's not terrible to say it was made by baboons. Here's a plate, Ace. I don't eat cake. Keep it. Hmm. This, mm, this turned out better than I thought it would. Real sweet of you guys to make this for us. Huh? If everyone's praising it, then I'm a little curious too. Give me, give me some! Went to the killing game, Veronica disappeared. disappeared. <laughs> I think she is part Russian, but she was born and raised in the English-speaking American, so she doesn't have the accent. Okay, so I'll, I'll try. I'm gonna try to give her a little, a little English in her, you know? 
These cookies. Okay, I'm not. <laughs> I've, been, I've been trying to do it actually, but I can't do it. These cookies are great, too. Look, Mr. David, this is one is de decorated like you. You should eat it before I do. Huh, how cute. Just remember not to eat too many sugary foods. I don't want anyone getting a stomach ache. Who are you, my mom? I'll eat as much as I damn well want to. Hey, don't get on, uh, don't get on Hu Jing like that. That's mommy. This is pretty nice. Of course it is. We made this cake and everyone likes it. No, I mean what we're doing right now. It's nice. Even though, even though we're all worried about the motive announcement tomorrow, we can still eat together and talk about dumb things. Just like the perfect friends would. It's nice having friends. I'm glad. I'm glad that you're happy. Don't worry. Don't worry. Nothing bad will happen because of some motive announcement. We'll make it out of here for sure. She's either dying or she's or she's gonna kill someone. I wonder when the killing game starts. I'm assuming next episode or the one after that. And we can keep eating cake together in the future as many times as you want. Friends do. She's definitely dying. <laughs> she's too nice. <laughs> yeah. You're right. You're fucking you're fucking dying, um I'm sorry. But but you're you're dead. <laughs> I remember that Xander had asked me to meet him in the computer lab. Too trustworthy. Ah, oh, you actually came like I asked. I wasn't expecting that. Haha. -ha. Of course I did. You said you had some sort of plan. Yeah. What's going on? Why'd you ask me to meet you here? There's something in particular in this room that you wanted to look at? Yes, your organs. Stab, stab. <laughs> Looks like the disc readers are empty. What Miss is it? Terrico. Look, Miss Terrico, before we get to that, I want to get some things off my chest first. I... How do I say this? I think you're a really great person, okay? But you're constantly undermining yourself with all your talk about bad luck. There's got to be a better way of you resigning yourself to the whims of fate. Um, Persona 5? Dennis is that. There's nothing we can do to make things better. So let's just give up. Dennis is that. <laughs> And you really need to uh, be aware of your good traits, right? I I know that you don't think highly of yourself. You'll never see it come there. Bro, that's so, such a good uh, OSC that you don't think highly of yourself, but I still think highly of you. Xander's a good guy, man. You're smart, collected, focused, and really down to earth. And if you don't think of us as friends, I do. I really care about you, okay? Watch Xander die. It's either Xander or um the... um. The small chick who's dying. I forget her name often. That's nice, I suppose. More importantly, what did you find that you want to tell me? Yeah. <laughs> You're always on task, huh? Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. I lied. Actually, I haven't got any plan. Not yet, at least. I... Maybe I just wanted to talk? I'm not sure what I'm doing myself, to be honest. <laughs> and there's still so much I want to learn about you, Terrico. I want to know what... I want to know what kind of person you really are underneath that facade. <laughs> what? I had to break it to you, but you're not that great of an actor. You're hiding a lot about yourself. That much is obvious. I'm sure you've got a good reason to keep your secrets, but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious. But I suppose it's too late for me to find out now, is it? I... I... I don't... I don't understand. Why are you at? Why are you saying any of this? Why did you want me to come here at all? Because I, Sander, what are you doing? My apologies for rambling. It's hard to get my thoughts in order. I guess that what I'm trying to say is, I'm sorry, Terika. Sorry for what? Sorry for this.
That's fucking crazy. You, you, I made a joke. I literally made a joke. I was like, he said, what do you, what do you want to see, right? He said, what do you want to see? When she asked him, he said, what do you want to see? And I said, oh, you, I want to see your organs, you know, but. She's dreaming or something. Or no. Shit. I I'm sorry. I that don't fix shit. You. Why would you. I'm the worst, aren't I? I hate murderers. I hate the smell of blood, and I hate this feeling. I would have never. I would have never wanted to hurt you. Then why did I do this? I don't even know. Why? Just why did you ask me to kill Terika? Who. Who are you talking to? Oh, so he's, he's just crazy as fuck. He has two personalities. He's a crazy bastard. It's not important right now. I'm sorry. I really am. But I have to do this. I need to trust in myself that this was worth it. Good night, Terika. Bitch! Not going to work. What? Your plan... It's not going to work. After all... I... <coughs> I'm... I'm Teriko Tawaki. The ultimate lucky student. And I can't be killed. No matter what. <laughs> He's I love Sander. I don't love Xander. Not no more. <laughs> no, but, no, but yeah, no, Xander, you're you're done, dog. You're done, buddy. He's just he's crazy as fuck. He's crazy as fuck. Damn, Xander. I wouldn't say crazy and you hear his speech. Okay, okay, enlighten me. Because I, from what I saw, I think he has... Does he have... Or did he say, why did you ask me to kill Terrico? So, like, did the mastermind ask him to kill Terrico? Or, like, or does he have... I thought it was multiple personality disorder. Like, because his eyes went completely gray. And then, like, when he came back to Earth, he was, like, like yellow-eyed. Or maybe I just saw it wrong. Someone was clearly behind that. He said someone asked him to kill Terrico and he was really upset at what he had done. Schizophrenia. Yeah, that's what, I, that's what I was saying. I thought it was that. But, okay, see, if you're, if you're saying that his other self, and you're saying that he's not really crazy, it's his other self, that's still him, though. Like, I know I know it's multiple personalities, but... Is it... Okay, just just tell me right now. It's, it's schizophrenia, right? Because if so, I still think he's he's crazy as fuck. <laughs> I still think he's crazy. Damn, that that's juicy. I need to see what happens next, man. That that was that was nuts. It's not just okay. But yeah, he he stabbed Terrico. Nothing. There's no coming back from that. All right. You don't stab baby girl and get away with it. Xander, you're on my hit list. You're dying. You can die. No matter the no matter the the reason. Just like if somebody killed Kaede or they attempted to kill Kaede in the first game. Guess what? Wait, you know what? Look. You know what? Let me go full screen for this. All right. If anybody tried to kill Kaede in the first game, right? If anybody tried to kill Kaede in the first game, if it was, you know what? I love, um, who do I like in the... Shuichi. Let's say it was Shuichi. Shuichi tried to kill Kaede for any reason. Fuck Shuichi. Shuichi, you're... I don't, I don't rock with you no more. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. 
You don't just try to kill baby girl and get away with it. Nagato's lucky that he was dead too, or I, I would hate his ass for uh, making Chiaki die. I hate murders and I hate the smell of blood. I would have never wanted to hurt you. But th th he was acting close to her the whole time, though. Like, okay, look. I don't care the I don't care the reason. And I look, it's Dog and Ropa, so I promise I'm pretty sure she's somehow gonna be able to forgive him. But there's no fucking way. There's no fucking way. I don't care if anybody's if somebody's manipulating you or who told you to stab me, you stab me in my stomach, bitch. I we're not being cool after that. It's on site every time. I'ma say, guess what? We're going we're going tomorrow. They go say, Hey, um Terco, what happened to you? Xander stabbed me. That bitch stabbed me. That bitch just stabbed me, so you guys need to look out for him. You need to look out for his ass. And Xander, stay the fuck away from me. Alright? I thought we were I thought we were cool, but I guess I'll hang with everybody else. You know, I'd rather hang out with the surgeon than you, and he calls me Baka all day. He calls me an incompetent baboon. I don't know, there's clearly something fishy going on. Xander's deals with me, he fights against bad people. Something is clearly wrong. Oh, okay, okay, look. Okay, look, I look at it like this. Don't get me wrong, I know it's Don Ropa, right? It's Don Ropa. It could be the most pure of heart person you know. You, you know what? It, let's say it's, I love, here's a good example. I love my dad, right? I love him to death. He raised me. I live with him now, all right? If he just, if for some reason one day randomly he just stabs me, I'm, I'm not fucking with him no more. But I, like if he's, like in my stomach, right? My stomach slash my chest. I don't care the reason he has. If you stab me in my stomach slash chest, bro, we're not fucking cool no more. I'm not staying with you. I'm getting all my shit, and I'm gone. I am gone. I don't think that's a crazy thing to say. You said against the look, oh, the lucky student though. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Like, maybe, maybe I'm just a piece of shit. I don't think so though. Like, I feel like there's no coming back from stabbing me. Even if you had some, even if you had to do it, like if somebody, like, you're definitely gone, dead. Oh, I would be pissed too, but I'm giving Xander the benefit of the doubt in terms of being a viewer until. Oh, okay, no, 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 for sure. I was, I was kind of trolling with that point. I'm talking about like if Enterico is mine. I was kind of trolling with that part. Kinda, kinda. We're, we're gonna have to see. Like, I'm not gonna put him like a C or a D character, but I still, you know, I still feel resentment. Just like, just like the Karumi thing. Enterico hit. I'd definitely be upset. Hell, no, it'd be more than upset. I'd be. I'd be fucking livid. I'd be ready to, to go ape shit. Kind of. Wait, kind of what? But yeah, like, I don't know. We, you know, we're going to see. We're going to read. That's a read. We're going to watch the next episode. But yeah, come on, dog. You know, okay, look. Look. You know, I'm going to. Do I have anything? I'm not going to use a real. You know what? We're just going to use this. All right. I have an Afro pig right here, right? I can understand. No, I have scissors. I have some scissors. I'm not gonna use that because I might stab myself. But I have a pick. Alright. I can understand if Xander was just it just went up to Terrico. He's like, I'm sorry for doing this, Terrico. Look, he just did, did that, right? But no, he said, I'm sorry I'm about to do this. Look, he did this. He was doing tricks with the fucking knife. How you gonna how you gonna do tricks? <laughs> how you gonna do tricks with a knife? Did stab me, bitch. Like, okay, now if you just went up behind me and just you know, like that, okay. But this motherfucker, he was he was doing all that like some fucking like Street Fighter Ultimate type shit, you know? <laughs> I don't <laughs> Come on, dog. Come on now. You can you can at least see what I'm saying right here, like I think he did, right? I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Let me let me go replay that, actually. I'm gonna replay that shit because I'm pretty sure that's what he did. He did a knife flip. If someone does that to you, you know it's over. Exactly, bitch. How are you, you going to do that? Just stab me. If you have a good reason to stab me, just go up to me and stab me. Don't do some fucking knife tricks. Don't do some knife tricks to me and then stab me. Then I'm going to not think that there's like a good reason for it. Because he's a good person, so you know he didn't just do it randomly, right? Go rewatch that. The animation is great. Also, watch his eyes.
I'm sorry, Terika. No, we're following. Yeah, I, I, was, I saw that. Sorry for this. Yeah, that was that was it was really good animation. I'm not gonna lie. But he did a fucking he did a knife flip, dog. <laughs> he did a knife flip, and then he apologized after I mean, afterwards. He's like, I didn't want to do that to you. You know what? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> that's like when people. That's like when somebody cheats on their girlfriend and they're like, or their boyfriend. They're like, I'm sorry. I. You forced me to do this, bitch. No, I didn't. You just, you just want to feel better. <laughs> you just want to feel better about that. You just cheated. Then after that, his eyes are gray most of the time. Okay, you bet. I'm, a, I'm definitely gonna know if it's just like pure gray. Now, but like before that, I didn't really notice. Like when it was just like a little bit, but now I'll notice for sure. Proud. I don't think you can compare stabbing cheek. No, I'm just. It, it, it's a joke. It's a joke. Of course, stabbing and cheating is two different things, but I'm saying, like, you know, like, I didn't want to do this. I mean, you did it. I mean, at the end of the day, you did it. You did it at the end of the day. And it hurts me more than you. I was forced to do this. I was coerced. I was manipulated. Now, Xander, he might actually be, but now when people cheat, you, you just, you just on some bitch shit. But yeah, I'm, we're going to start the next episode whenever I grab some water. Um, what can we do? Why'd you do that in Xander's voice, LOL? <laughs> hmm. What can we put on just for a brief sec? You know, I guess I'll replay it just for a little second till I come back. I... I'm gonna grab some water. I guess that what I'm trying to say is I'm sorry, Terika. Sorry for this. I'm sorry, I... Xander, you... Why would you... I'm the worst, aren't I? I hate murderers. I hate the smell of blood, and I hate this feeling. I would have never... I would have never wanted to hurt you. Then why did I do this? I don't even know. Why? Just why did you ask me to kill Terika? Who... Who are you talking to? That's not important right now. I'm sorry. I really am. H2O secured. I have to do this. Thanks for giving us the sound of quick and loud dialogue. This was worth it. Xander stabbing Terrico. Hey, is a bar. Terrico. And then just good night, Terrico, while she's just in pain. Going crying. To work. What? Your plan. Good night, Teruko. It's not going to work. Oh, I forgot to switch it. My bad. Oops, oopsies. Oopsie, whoopsie. My bad. But he said, Good night, Teruko. Good night. Should have known, Xander. Should have known this is what would happen. This is what happens when. <laughs> You're gonna have a field day with this. This is what's wrong with men. Men. Look at this. 
This is exactly what a man would do. <laughs> Don't be take off. <laughs> yeah. I'm guessing that's mommy, mommy Xander. It's strange that I remember her now of all times. What was her name again? It's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't remember. Mommy Xander. It looked like it would be Xander's mom. <laughs> they look like they look similar with the same red hair and smile. And they both wanted to help, didn't they? Speaking of Xander, what was I doing? I think I was in the middle of something important. I feel like I'm on the cusp of waking up. Mm, huh? Did she forget that she was stabbed? Or did, was that a dream? <laughs> eh, you're, you're awake? My abdomen hurts. Feels like I've been stabbed. I'm in the infirmary? Huh? What time is it? How did I get here? What's going on? Calm down. I sound nothing like her. Like her. Oh, I was with Xander. Xander was. Xander was. Please take some deep breaths. <gasps> I need to leave right now. Wait, you're not fully healed. Come back. Huh? Huh, Terrico? Ah, you've woken up. Terrico? Mm. Uh. Everyone else was standing in the halls around the elevator. An uncomfortable silence falls over everyone on my arrival. I ignore them all. Someone's dead? I think so, too. It's probably Xander. I... The computer lab. He asked me to meet him in the computer lab. Is he still there? Terrico. What? Please wait a moment before you go in. We have to talk first. Before you enter the computer lab, Xander is... I took a deep breath and steeled my nerves. Then I entered the computer lab. Damn, Xander. Damn. Xander is dead, Terrico. Damn. I, I knew it was either going to be him or the, or the small girl. Damn. They even get the motives out, huh? Xander. I fell to my knees. Are you alright? I'm fine. I'm just a little winded. My abdomen really hurts, and I'm also out of breath. Legends never die. You lie. He wasn't really a legend. Undoubtedly, you were stabbed after all. I'm surprised that you even survived. Why are you surprised? Of course I survived. I'm the ultimate lucky student after all. No more no more importantly what happened. I need to get my thoughts in order. After dinner together, we all went our separate ways. At around 8 p.m., Veronica and Arturo alerted everyone that they found you and Xander's that they found your and Xander's body. Xander was already dead at that point, but we had discovered that you were still alive, simply unconscious. We took you to the medical bay and performed emergency care. Because I fear when I started, so I was upset that he died, even after he stabbed her. Once You've been unconscious for quite some hours. While you were asleep, Mona TV told us that we need to investigate the crime scene and prepare for a class trial. Hmm. A class trial? Does that mean that someone killed Xander? Yep. 100%. One of you guys got to jump on Xander and killed him dead. Super duper dead. Deader than my ex-husband. What? That's crazy. One of us committed a murder? I don't believe it. There's no way. Sorry, but I'm going to have to ask you to skip the entire disbelief monologue a bit. We're running a bit short on time here, you see. This isn't a game. This is a YouTube series. Terrico, you thought you really got to go get yourself stabbed? Everything got so complicated thanks to you. Normally, we're starting a class trial soon after the body is discovered, but thanks to your mini coma, we had to wait for who knows how long for you to wake up. I was upset because if I found out like because if Xander killed Terrico, then that would mean he would be executed. Any guess who killed him? Right now, I'm not sure. 
I'm thinking it would be somebody like we're gonna have to see. You're making my job harder. I had to give everyone extended investigation time. That's so unfair. It's almost the morning of the next day, you know. Does that mean that everyone already examined the crime scene without me? Yep. Yep. Them's the deets. It'll be. I'll be very, very generous and give you maybe thirty minutes to get yourself up to snuff. But Terrico, after that, we're starting the class trial right away. So you better believe it, or you're just unbearable for it. I see. I need to investigate and gather enough details to pinpoint Xander's kill at the class trial. That makes sense. Don't you care? He was a dead man either way, and that hurt me. <laughs> he was idolizing David too much. One is David. Wait, when is David? What do you mean? Don't you care? What? Huh? Don't you care about Xander? He's dead. Yet you haven't said a single word about him except in regard to investigating. Bitch! Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say he just he stabbed her. I mean, do you, I mean, don't get me wrong. They were friends They were friends. Yeah, but You you better not you better not get in my get on my ass when someone who stabbed me Is dead and I'm just not bawling that they're dead and she fell to her knees like she was still sad I and mean, what, what did she wanted to do, you know? I thought that perhaps you two were friends, and I thought that you would be shocked or sad to see him like this. But you don't seem to care about him at all. Let's see what Terrico says. I don't care. <laughs> Why would I care that Xander's dead? Huh? He's a proud man, doesn't know. Xander's the one who stabbed me. He asked me to meet him here. And then he tricked me. Xander lied to me. He manipulated me so that he could try and kill me. For all I know, he was only pretending to be my friend. He said all that crap about fighting against the killing game, but in the end, he's just a damn hypocrite. And I'm pissed off that he had the guts to tell me to trust him and everyone else here. I don't care. Why should I care about a liar and a backstabber? He's nothing more than a dead body to me. Get on his ass. I don't feel sadness or regret or shock that he's dead. I just feel angry. How horrible. Is that really true? Sander. Enough talk of that. I don't have time to waste talking about feelings. I should be using this limited time to investigate. I think... The only explanation I can think of for Sander's death is that someone interfered and killed Xander after he stabbed me. Therefore, I need to find clues that will help me pinpoint who that killer is. First of all, where is everyone else? Despair. Everyone else investigated as much as they could while you were out cold. But now they're all milling around, wallowing in their own anguish and sorrow. Boring. Boring, right? I kind of want to skip straight to the execution at this point if the plot is going to be moving this slow. Due to our extended investigation time, we've searched through every room in this floor, from the bathrooms to the suites, yet we found little. This computer lab is the only location with any noteworthy evidence. Most people are currently waiting outside this computer lab near the elevator. If there's something specific that you want to talk to, someone you want to talk to, you should go there. So... The part investigation is automatic so you can chill. <laughs> Everyone is right outside of the hallway, so... To be honest, it seems a bit strange that no one else other than you came to check on me. We've been talking for quite some time now. It would make sense that everyone is a bit nervous around you. After all, everyone thinks that... Um, never mind that. Everyone is simply a little nervous is all. They think that she killed them because she was the one in there freaking almost dead. Why are you here then? I was the one assigned to watch you in the infirmary when you woke up and ran off and ran away all of a sudden. You gave me quite the scare. I see. I don't mind if it's just me and you, but to think that no one else wanted to check in on me. Never mind that. It's not important. The more pressing matter here is the investigation. We're still gonna face David's body. You mean Xander? How am I supposed to get this started? If there, is there an autopsy file I can look at? The Mona TV file! For the last time, I'm not giving you out any information files about the murder. <laughs> Do you think this is some sort of video game where I walk you through all the evidence? Hell no! <laughs> we can inspect David too. No, we can't. This is television, damn it! I'm not going to hand you the answers. Investigate and find it and figure it out yourself. 
Of course. How helpful. And I say that. <laughs> Sarcastically, of course. I suppose I'll have to do this by myself. Just like everything else in my life. You have me to help you if you want. I can tell you what I found when I was investigating. This is why investigating is so hard in this game. You get nothing. Thank you for helping, but I think it's best that I see everything with my own eyes. Let's see. I'll start by going with crime scene from a distance. Hmm. Why is the ground wet? There's water everywhere. I'm not quite sure. Perhaps there was a leak? I don't think so. There's no signs of a leak from the surrounding walls or ceiling. Look, there's even traces of blood stain on the ground that must have been erased from the water. I think... This might actually be my own blood. Snazzy, jazzy, <laughs> right here, or truth of blessing, I was standing when Xander stabbed me. Did someone try to intentionally remove them? I prodded the blood stains with my finger. Reminds me of Scooby Doo. <laughs> See how dry it is even underwater? These blood stains aren't coming out easy, even when I rub at it. That suggests that the blood stains couldn't have washed away on their own. Interesting. There's also something on the ground. These are scraps of paper, I think, but they're soaked. It, seems it looks like something was written on them, but thanks to the water, it's completely illegible. Illegible. There are also scraps of something blue. What is this? I don't know what that is either, but I, it, I, but it held together. In the water, therefore, it's definitely not paper. It might be plastic, rubber, or something similar. Anyway. Um, moving on. I suppose I should check Xander's body now. Are you alright? If you're not okay with dead bodies, then you definitely shouldn't watch Stand By Me. I'll be okay, man. Alright, let's see. The most obvious thing of note is that he was injured in the throat. There's no way he could survive this. His blood must have sprayed out because it's all over his body and on the floor. I wonder what the murder weapon was. I don't see anything that could have caused this wound around here. Oh, the murder weapon? It's here. Huh? Why is it bagged? Because your body was part of the original crime scene. We had to move some items around. If you want a picture of the original crime scene, your best option is to ask Rose. Rose Quartz? Steven Universe? Alright, I'll get to that. By the looks of it, this knife was taken from the kitchen. I suppose that anyone could have accessed those knives. Oh, wait. This is the knife that Xander used to stab me. I'm certain of that. Is that true? When we found your body, the knife wasn't the knife was in your hand, Teruko. I've never touched this thing, I swear. Psych all over again. I'm telling the truth. If you don't believe me, you can ask anyone else. All right, I'll check that later. I should continue examining Xander, Xander's body. His whole body is soaking wet. It must be from the water on the ground. <sighs> really, this water is everywhere. My socks are starting to get wet from standing in it. Isn't it bad to have this much water in a room full of computers? The water puddles are limited to the front of this room away from the computers. No electronics have been damaged. Thank goodness for that. Do you know how expensive computers are these days? Hey, amen, brother. Actually, they're cheaper than ever. It's shit. But it's also still a big strain on our budget, which is zero dollars. We don't make any money from... Oops, I mean television show. I'm in a lot of debt. Please help me. <laughs> Moving on. Xander looks a little shocked, doesn't he? Huh? Huh? What do you mean? It seems Look at his facial expression. Not only did he die with his eyes open, but his facial expression looks to be that of shock. Did his take killer take him by surprise and kill him? I'm not quite I would like sure. to say that he died rather quickly, but I can't be too sure since I'm someone that with medical expertise that is more than circulation what but it was David David killed him A wound as large as this one would have at least caused him to promptly fall unconscious Then his cause of death could have been through brain hypoxia Exonjugation Exonjugation Exon wait Exon Exonjugation Drowning in his own blood or something else It depends on what structures in the neck the killer hit. 
still, if someone stabbed me in the throat, I'd imagine that I would look pretty surprised, I too. See. As for the eye patch of his, it looks a little dis disheveled. I carefully brush his hair back and take the eye patch off of his face. Ah! Yep, this is the same injury showed me in the infirmary. Huh? Uh, you've seen it before? A while back, a man standing in the infirmary while he was changing his eye patch. How horrible. What a horrible injury. It looks like his entire eye is gauged out of his face. How on earth did such a thing happen? According to Xander, he received this injury sometime before we all arrived here. I believe that to be true, seeing that he had an eye injury ever since I first met him. I put the eye patch back on. His hands are also covered in blood. Hmm. Let's pick both of his hands closely. His right hand is stained with blood on the back of the hand. But his left hand is stained on the inside of his hand. Of the hand. How strange. I'm curious. Do you know if Xander is left or right-handed? I'm pretty sure right. He's a righty, I believe, unlike me. Thinking back on he'd use his right hand to stab me, the blood stains on the on the back of his right hand match up with the spray of my blood when it happened. Yeah, I mean, I don't think you could do knife tricks. I don't think you could do knife tricks if you freaking, or, you know, I don't think you do knife tricks with the opposite hand is what I meant to say. I mean, maybe you can, you're just that skilled, but... <laughs> Leon. I wonder where the blood stains on his left hand came from. It's probably un un unconsequential, right? After all, his body is covered with blood. There's even more, there's even some splattered on his shirt. That's probably my blood as well from when he stabbed me. Exactly how much blood have you lost? How are you even conscious right now? Uh, I guess I have a lot of blood, I, I guess. I saw we. Um, is he carrying anything on his person? The only item he has is hidden in his jacket pocket. It shows no sign of being fired, but still. Don't touch it, all right? We may have been in an investigative period, but this is still a dangerous weapon. I'm surprised that no one confiscated this. So we still know about Andrew, Andrew and so... We lost the Damn. Perhaps. A fork is crazy. Using a fork to do that is nuts. But same time, so perhaps, perhaps simply leaving it here under everyone's collective watch was the safest option since we cannot guarantee that anyone here can be trusted to keep a gun. But I don't remember that. <sighs> oh, I assure you, I'm not worried about this gun going off. I suppose Xander kept this on him, but he shouldn't have possibly used it for anything, seeing as it's a dud. Didn't he tell me about a gun earlier to win my trust? He really spent a lot of effort to befriend me, only to tear down that friendship within a few short moments. It doesn't seem like there's anything else worth noting on Xander's body. Since you've mentioned it repeatedly now, I'm curious. You keep saying that Xander stabbed you in this room, but why were the two of you here in the first place? That's a good question. I'd like to know the myself. Is... Xander said that he had a plan to fight against the mastermind and asked me to meet with him to, in a private here after dinner. I suppose that was nothing more than a lie on his part to lure me out. I see. That makes a lot of sense, I suppose. Is there anything else noteworthy in this room? There's four scratches in a line. It's very plausible to be a fork. You should check the CD readers on the left. Mm -hmm. There's important evidence in there. What's this? I'm gonna rewind it after we're done. It's a CD? No, a DVD. What's the difference again? It's a DVD! I can tell because to me, DVDs taste like cookies and cream, while CDs taste like chocolate and mint. They have a little maybe tone DVD isn't there similar to cat scratches as well. Of course, I'm a robot. If you try to taste this, you'll only taste plastic. I pick the DVD up. I'm gonna have to look at it again and see. It was upside down in the reader. Did that happen during the investigation? No, it was like that when we found it. After we investigated, we returned everything to their original positions whenever possible. She gave me Chiaki vibes. I flipped the DVD to the other side. Let's see. There's some text on the front end marker. 3 a.m. Wait, 3 M-O-C. What does that mean? Ah, I accidentally wiped away some of the marker. Are you trying to manipulate evidence? I'm right here, you know. No way! I would erase. Why would I erase evidence? Everyone already investigated. What good would that try do even even do me? I'll write it back on. There's nothing ha there. Nothing happened. Okay. You're being awfully suspicious. 
Jeez. Man, seriously, it was a mistake. You're so harsh. In any case, let's see what happens when I play it. Don't bother. We haven't been trying for a while, but it won't play. Perhaps the DVD readers are broken here. Really? Let me try. How about the DVD and the player? That's a CD player. Oops, you'd think I learned the difference the first time. This DVD was left in the CD player? I wonder why that is. I looked over to the right side of the room to put the DVD in the correct player. True to her words, I couldn't get the DVD to play anything. Terrico Charles gave you a whole lecture. This is, well, that's a bit of an issue, but I'm impressed for time right now. No chance but to move on. In any case. I believe that you finished checking everything you're noting here. You should t try talking to everyone else now. Huh? Huh, Are what? All right? Is something the matter? Just now, I could have sworn I saw a flash of light. A flashback light? No, never mind that. Let's leave. When I turned around to exit the room, I noticed something strange. Why did the light switch to this room? Out of order? Since when has this been here? Oh, that sign has been there for a while. Yep. The light switch. Wait, the whiteboard. No Wi-Fi? Why live? What that? Oh, why live? <laughs> I said, why live? Yep, the light switch broke. Sometime around when Xander died, totes don't work. For the purpose of facilitating your investigation, I turned on the emergency lights. Otherwise, this room would be completely dark and you would be unable to turn the lights on. This place is falling apart on an alarming pace. How am I going to fix everything that's breaking at this rate? Hmm. This sign. Wait. Don't touch that. You could get hurt. I put the out of order sign off the light switch. There's something about this sign that seems off to me. It's water stained. I moved it around to the back side. It definitely says kill Teriko Tawaki on the back. Strange. That's the light switch itself. It looks like the plate came off a bit. Is it broken? I take it off, but given my luck, I'm a bit hesitant to start poking around electrical circuitry. I took a peek underneath the plate. Let's see. I'm no electrician, but it looks pretty normal to me. Just wires and metal things. What do you think, man? Yes, it's the normal writing for a basic light switch. It doesn't look like it's been tampered with. In my opinion, nothing worth noting. To be honest, I thought there would might be some secret under here, but I guess not. A secret? What were you expecting? Hidden gold? Okay, that's everything I need to see in here. Let's go talk to everyone else. Another good episode? But yeah, I don't. We we didn't see anything. We don't think. <laughs> we'll break these things because I need these things. Mono TV don't break things because I'm broke. <laughs> but yeah, I don't. I don't know, man. I don't know who did it. No theories. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah. You usually like in the game, it's easier for the games because you can like go way more in depth in the games. But this, don't get me wrong. It's, I'm not saying they they're not showing like any foreshadowing or any, or anything. But in the games, I can at least kind of guess because like I hang around like with like a lot of people, you know, like one on one time, and it's just like I don't know. It's just hard. I think it's hard with this. I'm enjoying it though for sure. Well, how long have I been on? Let's see. I think it's been an hour. I think it's, well, yeah, it has been an hour, but 
I think that I've done. Has it been out with this? When was the last time I did it? Oh no, I, I can do it now. I'll just do this real quick and then we'll watch the next episode. Monogatari. Mother see, that's freaking crazy, bro. You get the series you want. But not the character. That's freaking crazy. I don't get Ditly Squat. A B drill is clutch pure. That's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Can I vote? Let me see. Because that's freaking crazy. I don't think I can though. Oh, I can. All right, give me a sec. No wrong thing. Just, just for a sec. I'm gonna vote, and then when I do, I'll just, I'll put it back up. I'm gonna do this on my phone. Oh, that freaking sucks. I gotta do it on my phone, bro. Damn, nothing. It's like that, like 80% of the time, bro. It, it sucks. It freaking sucks. Wait, let me, I can put chat up on, on here now that I'm doing this. Um, it says, select the ones that move faster than the cars, of course. Meow. See, dollar, um, rolls. There we go. Now it's, I think it's some people from manga I used to love, so cool. Wait, which one was it from? Let me see. Uh, here we go. We are ready. We are ready. Ready like Freddy. All right, now... Dollar W A. And I used to think that I'm like a I was a huge anime watcher, bro. And don't get me wrong, I still think I, I do watch it more than the average person, but I don't be knowing a lot of these shows, bro. Oh seven goes. I've heard of, I haven't seen it though. You know it's crazy. I I played that. I just I just don't give a darn about her. I don't even know who that is. And I've seen Sword Art Online. Oh yeah, married Nagito. But he got Nagito. That's freaking crazy. That's a good pull. Freaking didn't get squat. Didn't get a damn thing. Not a damn thing. Not a damn thing. Ain't no cause we should oh well. <laughs> Ain't no drink a little bit of water. My bad, I forget to close that freaking Discord. That was a few days ago. Let me see, was it Nagito Komaida? He's a lot of points, actually. He's worth a lot.
Everyone is still standing around in the hallway. Hello. Hi, everyone. Terrico. Hmm. I guess you're not dead. Bitch. Are you finished investigating? Not quite. I want to talk to you all. I got an idea. Wait. I want to. I want to talk to you all to get an idea of what you were doing last night after dinner when Xander was murdered. That's not a problem, right? Huh? You want to ask us for our alibis, but... No, it's not a problem. Go ahead, I suppose. That's a good idea, Teriko. Not everyone here is in this hallway at this moment, but at the very least, you should try and gather information about who those are. I'll start by giving you my alibi. The last time any of us saw Xander alive was shortly after dinner, which was 6 p.m. The first person to discover the body did so at 8 p.m. I'll tell you what I was doing during that time frame. Last night, I was cleaning the kitchen. That took up most of my time. You remember when you dropped that cake on the ground, right? You made quite the mess. But that was a few days ago, right? Why wait so long to clean up? In any case... Both Eden, both Eden and Hugh Shane were also in the kitchen at the time. Thus, they can verify that I was there. Were you exclusively in the kitchen the entire time? No, I left a few times to get cleaning supplies from the laundry room. I see. I see. That's all I needed to know. Thank you. And thank you for your help. I appreciate it. Hello, Rose. Hmm? Hmm? Do you want to know what I was doing last night? After dinner, I fell asleep in the cafeteria and took a nap. I don't know anything that happened. I see. Were you asleep the entire time between 6 p.m. and 8 p.m.? Maybe. I don't remember. Do you have anyone to back up your alibi? I don't know. Ask around. Maybe someone else was there. Sorry. I'm sorry. Had I known a murder would have happened, I probably would have been more alert. Of course. All right. That's not helpful at all. <laughs> what I need from you is a picture of the original crime scene before anyone altered it during uh, investigation. Yeah. Right. Because we had a couple of hours to investigate. of an extended investigation. I had enough time to make a drawing of the unaltered crime scene from my memory. It looked exactly like this. Has it ever been confirmed, like, how much... Was it ever confirmed, like, how much, um, time did you get in, the, like, normal Dominant Europa games? I know, like, you know, you just investigate till you get all the clues you need, and then it starts. But, what was I gonna say, um... Oh, yeah, so... I know that it looks like she killed Xander, right? But oh, okay, we're, gonna have, we're just gonna see his reaction because David looks angry. He looked angry at her, at um Teriko, because you know him and um Xander are starting to be friends. But I I don't know. I feel like we always have different opinions. But he, I don't I don't know. He looks mad at Teriko, but like, well, I think everybody assumes she did, and that's fine. You know, I mean, if you think she did it, you, you think she did it. But I don't think you should be mad at her. Like, even if she did kill him, it looks like it's more self-defense, right? So I don't think you should be mad at her for that. I don't think anything has changed much other than the fact that your body was removed from the crime scene. Uh, seeing myself like this is a little off-putting, to say the least. Hmm. I was stabbed in the abdomen in the center and aisle, so my body must have been moved. Speaking of the stab wound, I checked under my shirt. My abdomen was wrapped in bandages. Doesn't that hurt? It does, but I turned... I tuned out the pain after a while. I have a pretty high pain tolerance, so it's bearable. Thank God we have Rose, though. This game becoming to the palace music vibes. Kinda, yeah. Back anyway. to this picture. As Min said, I was found holding the knife that Xander used to stab me. That's strange. What did you put in my hand to set me up? Hmm. Thank you for letting me look at this. Hmm. No problem. Hello. Hello, Teruko. 
Can you two tell me what you were doing last night between 6 to 8 p.m.? <laughs> I, I guess. Well done, Rose. You may sleep. <laughs> this, this has all been one long nightmare. It'll be all right. It'll be all right, sweetie. Keep it together for a little longer, okay? Eugene, that is mommy. <laughs> you're right. I'm glad that you're all right, though, Terry Cove. If nothing else, that cheers me up a little. Can you tell me your alibis? Oh, all right. Mm. After dinner, Hugh Shane and I cleaned up the cafeteria and the kitchen. I see. Did you see any other people? Um, um let me think. Levi and Jay came into the kitchen at 6.32. Damn! Investigate. I think Rose, Arai, and Wick were in the cafeteria before Levi and Jay. I love how that's supposed to be played. <laughs> I came in, I mean, they weren't there later. Except for Rose. I think she was there the whole time. Oh, Min was in the kitchen too. She was cleaning or something. Got up and stretched for a quick little sicky sick. My legs were falling sleepy sleep. Cleaning or something, then Hugh Shing went to the cafeteria. Uh, but that was when Levi and Jay entered the kitchen. Oh, did I mention that? They left afterwards? They left about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, so that would be around 7 p.m. I think. Maybe. I'm not too sure. Uh... Perhaps that would have been more informative in chronological order, Eden. I'm so sorry. So much crying tigers on. We're still hurt. It's just, it's surprisingly hard to remember exactly everything that happened. Hugh, help me out here. And also freaking all the persona games are well not all yeah I, I guess all of them are on sale for um from um, steam of course Eden and i cleaned up after dinner men came in too at times to clean up some of the mess you ladies left after baking Levi and jay said they were looking out for various locations for some clear relevant sort of situations just as an escape route when they came into the kitchen, I decided to move to the cafeteria to give them space. Sleeping Dogs for dollars it's always on sale at Chim, and I hear it's a really good game. I remember with Ara and Rose in the cafeteria. 12 years of Dang, it's been on 12 years? Levi and Jay moved to the cafeteria later, and then with Ara. Levi and Jay together is an unexpected combo. <laughs> Alright, I'll try and sort that out of my head. Thanks for telling me, at least. It's no issue. I still have difficulty believing that one of us really is dead. Xander was still alive and talking to us only a day ago. And now we have to undo this investigation. How terrible. Hey, hey, hey! Tell me, Terrico, how does it feel to be almost the first murder victim? Are you comfortable in your own fragile mortality, mortality right now? Cut that out. Can you... Can you cut out those stupid questions, you insufferable baboon? We're dealing with a serious situation right here. Somebody has just been murdered. I'm sorry. Can you tell me what you two were doing last night between 6 p.m. and 8 to 8 p.m.? After dinner, I can I convinced both Ace and Arturo to watch a horror movie with me in the in the movie screening room. She got Arturo to watch a freaking movie and Ace. <sighs> 
convinced you strong-armed us both into coming with you. Aw, oh, such arrogance. The movie ended a little around 8 p.m. since the movie screening is room is just right across the hall from the computer lab. I was the first to discover the body. And thus the horror trio was born. Oh, that reminds me, I should look at the maps if it's possible. <laughs> They were so close to the scene of the crime the whole time that nothing was going on. Did you notice what was going on? The doors of the movie screening room were closed and the movie was loud. Therefore, none of us noticed anything going on outside of the room the entire time. You might have been able to prevent this whole situation from happening if you had been a little more attentive. I'm sorry. I know I'm sorry Xander is dead, and I feel as if it I I might be a little anyway. at fault. Moving on, you were the first to discover the body, right? What about Arturo and Ace? Who were with you? While I was the first to find the body, Arturo was right after me. Someone had to go alert other people, but I don't trust Veronica enough to leave her alone with the body. Right. Alone with the body. Right, and I don't trust Arturo either. Because of that, we both went together to get the others. Does that mean you left the crime scene unattended? Yes, we did, but I believe that it was a short enough amount of time that no one could have tampered with the crime scene. What about Ace? Wasn't he in the movie screening room with you? He went to sleep. Either that or he passed out from fear. Probably the latter. You left him alone? I don't believe that he did anything at the time. He was asleep after all. By the way... Were you the one bed is my room, Arturo? Yes, that was me. What of it? I'll have you know that I'm not helping you willingly. Everyone simply has this ridiculous idea that I should play doctor to everyone in this insufferable place. Despite the fact that my specialty is in cosmetic surgery, not emergency care, but oh well. I'm not as experienced with these sorts of procedures, but thankfully I ended up not having to perform a serious operation on you because you're ugly. I can't deal with ugly people. While you did suffer a stab wound in the lower abdomen, the knife didn't cut any major organs or major blood or vessels. No, they did not. No significant structures in your body were damaged, and you did not even go into shock. Quite impressive, I do say so myself. There was a little that I had to do for you. I suppose that you're simply very lucky. The ultimate lucky student. <laughs> no surprise there. In any case, thank you for healing me. I don't want your thanks. As soon as we leave this wretched place, I wholly intend to charge you in full for the cost of this procedure. And I know you don't have any, because you are poor, little... Never mind. <laughs> but I don't have any money. Or insurance. Just die. That is not my problem. You better get it somehow. Oh, that's terrible. I thought you were dead. I have been talking with other people here for several minutes already. You're no fun. You're so cold. Learn to take a joke. We're about to go to trial to find who killed Sander. Forgive me if I'm not in the best of moods right now. I don't want to feel like Arturo. He's just an asshole. I like him, dude. <laughs> Forgive me if I'm not in the best of moods right now. Give me your alibi from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. last night. Fast. Because I don't want to talk to you any anymore. You're annoying. Do you think you're some sort of detective going around gathering evidence? Stop. Just tell me. Hmm. Fine, jeez. I was in the cafeteria most of the time. I was with Wit for a little while. We were playing this really fun game that I like to call See how many things you can stack on Rose before she wakes up. At some point, though, Wit left to use go use the bathroom, but then he never came back. Actually, I still haven't seen him since. Maybe he's taking a 12 hour long shit. Or a crocodile came out of the pipes and ate him. <laughs> Since you were in the cafeteria, did you see anyone else? Yeah, Rose was there the whole time, asleep like a weirdo. Why can't she sleep at nighttime like a normal person? Stupid. 
Kim Jean came in too, but she's so boring to talk to. All she does is nag me. All she does is nag me about getting along with others or something equally dumb. <laughs> I, I left with Levi and Jay to watch them poke around the infirmary, but they didn't find anything interesting. At least Jay. Why you say shit like that? I, I try to say it how she'd say it. So sad. Yeah, that, I think that's how she talks. That's how she talks. She talks really. She talks really um snarky. At least Jay is fun to bother. She gets flustered so easily, it's almost cute. Okay, your alibi is all I need from you. Thank you for co for your cooperation. Huh? That's it? Don't get don't I get some sort of compensation for helping you? <laughs> she didn't talk to her again. Hello, David. Yes. Snarky. You've never heard the word snarky before? Can you tell me for your alibi from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. last night? David, buddy, you okay? You losing your man? David? Forgive Part me, of my rudeness, but I'm not really in the mood to talk to others right now. Could you please leave me alone? Xander is dead. Are you upset because you were close to Xander? Well... If it makes you feel better. If Xander were here right now, I'm sure you'd say something along the lines of "Don't give up" or "We have to power to or we have to power through this." Maybe thinking that Xander will encourage you. Can you stop that? Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forgive my outburst. <sighs> I suppose you won't leave me until you've heard my alibi after dinner last night. I went to the laundry room. I was there the whole time. That's all you need, right? Did you see any anyone else? <laughs> you really need more detail? I saw Min and Nico at some point. I get that Min was probably cleaning supplies, but what was Nico doing there? I don't know. He came in for a short moment and left as soon as he saw me. Leave me alone. Keriko, I don't want to keep pressing it, but I really would like to be alone. Poor David, he's going through it. Alright, I'll leave you be for now. Have you finished talking to everyone here? Yeah, I'll have to follow up with everyone else at the trial. I think I've gathered all the evidence I can. Wait. Wait, there's one important piece of evidence that you're missing. Two days ago, at Mo Dinner Mode TV did not say he would give us some sort of motive today to encourage us to kill, yet we haven't heard one word of this motive at all. Even so. Regardless, the killer still must have some sort of reason to kill Xander. Sander certainly had an, an extraordinary personality. He was the kind of person to pick fights with all sorts of people. If you're suggesting that someone killed Xander out of sheer anger or spite, I believe that to be unlikely. I doubt that anyone hated Xander enough to kill him for that reason. Except David. It's true that he had a strong, aggressive personality and that he might not have been on good terms with everyone. Even taking that into account, though, it seems far-fetched that anyone here would have killed Xander simply based on personal grudge, myself included. Yourself included? You weren't on good terms with him? No, I wasn't. I mean, that man infuriates me with all of his talk about how my talent is pointless. Education has nothing to do with the future, has no sense at all. I understand to some extent where he's coming from, but he knows nothing of the life I live. Ridiculous. It's ridiculous for someone with the talent of rebel to try and force his pers perspective on me without considering my own point of view. Even then. I can tell that he had the best intentions, misguided as they may be, and I'm sure that everyone here could tell that he had a, compa he had a compassionate, if not slightly, slightly reckless heart. I'm sure you wanted nothing more than to help others. To kill someone like that because of a minor slight would be incomprehensible. I see. That's how you feel about him. That's how I've always felt about him. My opinion on Xander has not changed since I met him. I do not consider myself a person to have their emotions swayed easily. And I didn't think you were either. So for you to have reversed your attitude on him so quickly and completely, is it only because you feel betrayed? Or just some other reason. Bitch, she stabbed me. 
Keriko, it's okay if you tell me. The truth is I... Listen up. Time's up. Investigation's Whoa. over, everyone. Oh, I'm on TV. You're literally a TV, dog. Everyone, please gather in front of the elevator. The class trial will begin shortly. Everyone who wasn't already here to begin with. Man, I guess it's really happening. This is messed up beyond belief. Someone is dead and we have to find out which one of us is a killer for real. Shit, I don't want to do this. Why are we gathering here of all places? Enter the elevator, everyone. I'll take you down to the trial grounds. Oh, yeah, I fixed the elevator. Convenient, huh? Trial grounds? Yep. What do you mean trial grounds? There's a special class trial room for this purpose. You will all discuss your evidence and reach the conclusion of who killed Xander. Are you ready? Like Spongebob. Of course I'm not, but I don't have a choice, do I? Let's go. I'm sorry, but there isn't full voice acting in the trial. Oh, fuck. We all stood in silence. The elevator goes down. The only sound I can hear was the rumbling of the elevator. Elevator, ground to a halt. Alright, so I'm not gonna speak every- I'm not gonna say every single word. This is a trial room. Indeed, you'll find there's a place for 16 of you, so take your places. Well, I suppose it's 15 now. Man, wait, I'm expecting podium to be prepared to begin the class trial. Oh shit. Are we all ready? Let us begin the class trial to identify the blacken that killed Xander Matthews, the ultimate rebel. That blacken is one of you. Sow those seeds of distrust and fight amongst one another to reach the truth. It'll be an exciting battle. A thrilling show of hope and despair. Welcome to the class trial. Wait, wait. See, we gotta, we gotta do this. Wait, give me a sec. Give me a sec. Because it, they skipped it. They skipped it. I gotta do this for a second. They literally skipped it. I gotta play it because they didn't play it. <laughs> I got I'm setting my um setting my skills and I'm looking at my truth bullets. Okay, that's enough of that. But yeah, we need to play a little bit because they didn't play it. Okay, now we're done. Wow. I hope you all like that hype sequence. The class trial is going to have to be a lot of fun. Before we get started on that, HR requires that I read out some rules and regulations. During this class trial, you must discuss the evidence amongst yourselves and reach a conclusion. God damn it. Oh, we can't see my bad. There we go. Now it should be good. Babe, what was I going to say? Um, blah, 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 blah. Hope you all like that hype sequence. Wait, right, rules and regulations, like you said. During this class trial, you must discuss the evidence amongst yourselves and reach a conclusion of who the blackened killer is. Charles hasn't said shit for like two episodes. If you vote for the correct blackened, then only they will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person, then everyone will be punished besides the blackened.
Yo. Say, what's the deal with the portrait of Xander? Hmm? Oh, these? At Dunn Rope into spare time, we make sure to include everyone in all our activities, even the dead. Entertaining, isn't it? It would be a shame if we left Xander out of future trials and models just because he's dead. I do realize that now, since we never travel without having at least one person die, since we should do only build 15 poses instead of 16. <laughs> but then again, it's way easier to divide a circle into 16 parts instead of 15. Thank goodness that Hope Peak Academy is 16 students. If there were 23 of you or something, I'd have a real math problem on my hands. That's horrible. How cruel. You're making fun of the deceased. I wish that none of this is happening now. How troubling. It's still difficult to believe that one of us is truly dead and someone is that energetic and spirited Sander, no less. I'm sure our current situation could benefit from his energy. Damn it. Xander might have been annoying as hell, but you didn't deserve to die like this. I don't know, he kinda did. I swear, Xander, for your sake, I'll make your killer pay. Ugh. Okay, that's enough reminiscing about the dead. Get We're already on air, go get started. But where do we even start? Let's get it all over with and vote right now who we think the killer is. The majority vote will probably end up being correct, right? I disagree. That would be a bad idea. The purpose of this trial is to th so that we lay out all the facts and evidence in order to figure out who the identity is of the culprit. Of what the what fuck? I messed up. Recall that the consequence here for failure is death. <gasps> Holy sh I don't want to die even though my life sucks. Dying would suck harder. In any case. Let's start with the basic facts of the murder. The victim of this case is Xander Matthews, the ultimate rebel. His body was discovered in the computer lab at 8 p.m. Considering the evidence... He was murdered sometime between 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. The cause of death was a single stab to the throat, inflicted by a kitchen knife. Teriko Tawaki's body was also discovered at the crime scene. She suffered a single stab wound in the abdomen. She survived and is present at the trial now. As for the motive of the murder, I'm just not sure. Mono TV had promised to release a motive for everyone today, but I haven't seen it yet. Which aspect of the murder shall we discuss first? I suppose. I think it would be ideal if we first establish a sequence of events leading up to Xander's murder. <laughs> right, it all started when Miss and Mrs. Mr. Matthew decided to get together and. <laughs> not that far back. <laughs> I think that only the last few hours of his life are relevant to this case. We were together at dinner. I mean, everyone including me and him were. We were together at dinner. That's the last time I saw him. The dinner ended and we all went our separate ways. Where did Xander go after that? He went straight to the computer lab. You're awfully suspicious. How do you know that, Teriko? <laughs> Earlier at, the, at lunch, Xander had, me, had asked me to meet him in the computer lab, claiming that he wanted to tell me about some plan he had to confront the mastermind. But he lied. He actually tried to stab me. I mean, he actually stabbed me and tried to kill me. We both ended up meet. We both met up there after dinner, where he tried to murder me instead by stabbing me with the kitchen knife. What really? I find that hard to believe. Xander tried to kill you. I find that hard to believe. Shut the fuck up, David. Did the blood loss get to your head? What are you talking about? Of all the stories you could have cooked up, Teriko, that one might be the least believable. Uh -huh. What do you all mean? Why don't we vote already? I don't see much in porn dragging this on this trial when we all already agree who the killer is. You fucking dumb bitches. Oh, so you must have lost me. What are you talking about? Stupid bitch. I'm playing dumb. You're such a stupid bitch. You obviously killed Xander. We all know that by now. What? I killed Xander? But yeah, okay, I think I think that's the last one for today. Cause of how, how long I've been on? Yeah, I'll be on until I reach two hours and I'll get off. But I'm a, I'm gonna talk about it a little bit. All right, sounds like me. Not gonna lie, sure everybody. Well, I'm say um. So, but yeah, like I knew that they were gonna think she did it. Okay, wait. You have a um tier list, right? I'm gonna go back and uh, look in Discord for it because. 
I'm gonna go through the list. No, yeah, yeah, send me the list again. No, actually, I'll, I'll just go. I'll, I can scroll up for it. I'm sure I can find it. Maybe. Let's see. Okay, bet. Okay, so okay, look, this is this is how I feel. I'm, I'm gonna say it. David, he's cool, I guess, but he, I just assumed he'd be smarter than that. I don't know. Is that is that crazy to say? I don't. I think so. I just think that he'd be smarter than that. I know it seemed like pretty easy that she's the um that she's the killer, right? But I don't know. I just expected him to to know more. But yeah, David, he can stay down there. <laughs> David can stay there for now. Xander, until I see uh, until I see the whole reason you go down to be buddy. Right, keep in mind that they don't know, you know, they never saw that between Teriko and Xander. I, okay, look, I, I understand, I understand that, but look, okay, she was with, what's it called, right? She, she told, she told men, she told men that what happened, and men wasn't like, oh no, you just got to be lying. You have to, you just, you just absolutely wrong. She, at least she was like, you know what, I mean, I don't particularly believe her, but it's plausible. Now, freaking Are, and especially freaking David, David, he's smart though. David, David should know better than that. Let's be honest here. David should know better. Charles, David, Charles, Arturo, and and uh, men. Those are the those are the few people who I would think are smart enough to be like, you know what? Maybe there's something else here. So we're gonna have to see what Charles thinks. David is very emotional right now. That's look look. That's fine. All right, that's fine. You know, okay, I can't, I can't compare games, all right, because this is, this is, you know, of course, this is a fan game. It's not like the canon stuff, right? But freaking, um, look at freaking Shuichi. Freaking, he died, he let Tati die. You know, I mean, that was, he was, he was emotional for that. He, he just, I don't know, bro, like, be, come on, come on. I don't know. I think, I I pretty much think it's the same. Well, maybe, I think men goes up one. People handle their emotions differently, and these emotions can cloud judgment. Okay, so, okay, I, that's fair, I suppose. I suppose. I suppose, but we're just going to agree to disagree. Because, like, just like Teriko said, it's life or death. I understand I understand he's emotional right now but you have got to understand that if you okay you know what let's say let's say Teriko said you know what guys sure I killed him they all voted her they're all dead I'm sure he would I'm sure he'd be like oh no I wish I did something different you know you just I don't know man I just I, I don't like him right now I don't like David before I didn't like him before I don't like him now he's my least favorite so far and I, I don't like Nico so that's why he's down here too and the rest of the people, they're there. Veronica, she's she's cool. What is this up? Veronica, she's cool. Arturo, I think he's he's funny. Her, she's cool. See, even don't get me wrong. See, like I know that he was forming a relationship with with Xander, but he, all, everybody else thought that she did it right. They were, all were like. You know what? We'll tell you the, the stuff anyways. He de he desperately didn't want to tell her. Even I know. Okay, look. I know what you're gonna say. I know that he doesn't know. I know that none of them know that she, if she did it or not. But they still came out and told her alibi. It it's just really I don't know, man. It's it's a lot. 
and also okay mm. and they're 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 old I was gonna say the same thing happened with Makoto and them and well Makoto and them they were technically older than what they seem to be there's a lot of stress right now and as someone who's well versed in psychology David's emotional state right now is 100% understandable you can't control these feelings easily that's yeah, once again that's fair that is definitely fair Ace, Ace, yeah, I, I expect him to do it. Him to, him to, him to, her to, her to, her, well, maybe her. And then, honest, well, and, and Ray, but one, two, three, four, five, six. Those are the six out of, yeah, there would be eight. Yeah, so it would be eight. I think that would vote against her just straight up. I mean, don't get me wrong, you could be against her and not and think that she did it. But I think there would be the six people I think that would vote against well not vote against it, but at least try to hear it out. And he's one of the ones who I thought would. And I know they were friends though. But yeah, Terrick Terrico is probably S for me. She's my favorite. She's definitely my favorite. I already just funny. I love her dialogue. Her dialogue is funny as hell. Ch Charles, he hasn't had no screen time. Charles has had no screen time in the past few episodes. <laughs> He's had none at all. Zero. Wait, honestly. Sorry. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I started like a little bit less. Just a little bit. You know, actually, buddy, go, go down to see. You go down to see. Go right there. Right in front of David. Wait, am I still on episode C? Let me mute it. Let me see. Hmm. Oh, my fame being low hurts my soul. <laughs> I don't like David, man. Maybe, maybe I like him later. Maybe I like him later in the game. I don't know. So far, I don't. I don't like because I think I said that. I, I, I look. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying, but I'm. I'm just disappointing him for that. I was like, you know what? When the trial starts, he's probably gonna at least hear out something because I can tell. I can tell that he was emotional. <laughs> Before he didn't want to tell her the uh, her, his alibi because he was emotional and because his friend just died. But yeah, I, I don't know, man. I just I just not I just not rocking with that. And I know not everybody's the same way. I understand. I understand that. But I'm see in my if I was in that situation, I feel like I can't compare him to me. I mean, of course we're real people. I feel like I don't know, man. I don't know. The only reason Xander's here for now is because I mean I don't I haven't heard the backstory well not the backstory I haven't heard why he needed to kill her yet I'm sure he'll maybe he'll raise maybe same with David but I don't know it's being kind of kind of crazy right now I was expecting David to be more emotional so it wasn't a huge shock for me but an Ace I don't know I I feel like you just got to be you know the perfect perfect example for for him is Zenitsu you either love them or you really don't rock with them really I think he's just right there honestly he's he's only B. He honestly could be C2. <laughs> he could honestly be C2. It's, it's pretty, I don't know, it's pretty, it's pretty good, though. I, I want to see what happens next, but it's, it's 30 minutes. I have to do that another day.